kisses. We are boy. here with wonderful foster mom, Pat, and her darling foster dog, Andy. Andy is an approximately eight to nine year old uh, Karen Yorkie mix. That's what we believe he is. He came from a rural high kill shelter in Texas. He is now being fostered with Pat in the Chicago suburbs. And Pat, tell us all about Andy. He is adorable. He is. He's really a cute little guy. He like he does very well if you give him. Um, when I first got him, he wasn't very well house trained, but he does real well if you give him a spot. He has an X pen with his blankie in it, and he will not mess in his X pen, and he will bark to go out. Great. And he will bark to come back in, and uh, is a good little eater. Very adventurous. I definitely recommend uh, some kind of a fenced backyard because he's uh, he's kind of a hunter and he will hunt for a place where he can get out. And that's probably how he ended up where he was. Probably so. But, and I um, know that he, uh, for a while, uh, your X-Pen, which is, for those who don't know, is like a giant dog playpen, was uh, was open on top. And he was able to crawl out of that, wasn't he? With a cone on. And then, <laughs> and then when I put the top on it, then he managed to still get out. So he's very, uh, very smart, very inquisitive, and uh, just a real sweetie. Loves people. When people come over to the house, he barks, he wants to see them, he wants to be held, very, uh, notices everything um, that's going on. He does have a kind of a funny anomaly. Um, his ears are all crinkled, and the veterinarian said it was probably he was born that way. Interesting. Um, but they're just kind of, they're kind of crinkled, but cute. And uh, just very loving, very sweet. Um, we had his teeth cleaned, he's a good eater, and, uh, just is a real joy. He gets along well with my other dogs. Does his, you know, minds his own business. He doesn't get anybody aggravated or he doesn't go after anybody. He likes to take walks. And you and I had talked earlier, while we think he would be fine with older children, uh, as we normally recommend with terriers, certainly uh, children a little bit older, probably 10 or older, that knew probably, how to give yes. a dog space. You know, I must say, if he's, if he's laying on his blanket in his bed, and I go to grab him too quick. I mean, he will turn. He has never, you know, bit, but he, he'll move his sure. head. Sure. You know, and it's, so it's like either he, I've either <laughs> shocked him out of a deep sleep or um, he just doesn't want to be bothered. But, you know, other than that, no, he's a good little guy. He's Terrific. very sweet. Terrific. Very loving, loves to sit on your lap and get petted. If you were going to pick an ideal home for Andy, what type of home would you choose for him? Well, definitely a fenced-in yard. Okay. Definitely someone that likes to take him on a walk. He likes to see things. He likes, whoops, he, he's on his way now. Yep, you can put him down. Yep, That's he's fine. He's on his way. Um, he likes to investigate. Um, definitely, you know, active. You know, he will he'll, he'll jump on you and greet you when you come in the house. Yep. Um, and, uh, you know, older children. Sure. And it sounds like, uh, would he be okay for a family that went to work every day? Oh, yeah. Because he, he's got his spot. He's got his little pen. Like when I, I go to work, not every day, but when I do go to work, um, you know, I just say, hey, here's your cookie. I'm going to work. And he gets on his blank and there he sits until I get home. Boy, that is wonderful. What a great little dog. Yeah, and he, I doesn't, he doesn't cry and make a lot of noise. He doesn't have any anxiety when you leave. He will cry and, you know, bark when you come home, but he wants to see you. Sure, sure, which is totally uh, normal. And I should mention that when Andy came to us, he really... Um, was in need of veterinary care since coming into our program. He's been neutered. He had a benign mass removed from his eye, another one removed from his rump. He had a dental, so what the few teeth he has left um, are in excellent shape. And he's, of course, up to date on all of his shots, and he has tested negative for heartworm disease. Anything else, Pat, that you can think of? No, no, he's just, he's just very sweet. He's one of the sweeter ones that I've had, so I really, I mean, I like him. He's a good little boy. And Pat's had a lot of them. Pat, thank you so much. And Andy, thank you for spending some time with us, too.